everyone and welcome back to another episode of auto knots we just got auto carts and auto wheelbarrows being made and now to finish off this transportation plan we need two more carts made which as you can see we have a bot making the second one already we'll move that one out of the way then he'll make the third one and then we need the crude cart to be used a hundred times and i think the way we're gonna go for that is by using it for log transportation because i'm pretty sure these carts is for larger items like logs we'll have to actually do some testing i actually don't know it may not be for that wait why is this bot still working that bot should not be working what are you doing crude cart maker why are you still going repeat until vehicle assembly unit 2 is full it is full so why are you still working Is it because a cart goes in a cart? What's going on there? All right, well, let's see if a log fits in here. We can just pause them when that one's done. A log does fit in there, and it fits 10 logs. Nice. Wait, can I? Oh, that's a cheap way to do that. <laughs> did that really count? It did. Hey, lumber technology. Ooh, we got a bench saw. What does that do? All right. Well, I need to see what that bench saw does at some point. All right, he's going to finish off this cart, and then I think I just want to stop him. So we want this cart. You know what? Here, we need to do this. Log. Log cart mover. I need you to engage, disengage. All right, I'm waiting for this thing to finish so I could stop it. I don't want him making cart on cart on cart. There we go. Oh, now he stopped. Weird. He didn't stop before when there was one there. Alrighty. Well, what happened to my log cart? There you are. Alright, so you, my good sir, we want that position, and let's say... I can't see. Let's rotate this. And this position. So this will allow us forever loop it we don't need to find a cart because we're gonna engage ourselves we're never gonna disengage so if oh no we want we don't want to repeat we want an if if held object is full which would be the cart move to 230 by 162, right? How do I check this? Yep, that'd be right up here. 230 by 122. That'd be right there. And then we're gonna wait there. Oh, and then we do another if inside of that. If held object is empty, so now the cart's empty. We're gonna move back to the center of our forestry team. And then once that's done, it should just loop, right? Yeah, so if cart is full, we're gonna move over here. If the cart's not full, wait, no. Yeah, if the cart's full, we're gonna move here, which is up by the pallets. Once, and we're gonna keep on looping over and over and over and over. If the cart is ever empty, we're gonna move back to the center. Once we move back to the center, it should loop, and then we're gonna wait for it to be full. That should be good. Oh, wait, I need to cancel that, actually. We actually do need this fine crude cart, so that way he can go to it and engage it. All right, so we need to put that up there. There we go. So we need double ifs. Held object full, held object 
empty. Move to the center here. And then move over here. All right, this should work in theory. Repeat, I'm just gonna do repeat no times. That doesn't work, all right. Repeat until you hear one, sure. Okay, I just want him to come over here and engage this cart, then we'll get rid of that. All right, here he comes, should engage this cart. If held object full, why is that going then? Oh no, he's not, he's going to the center. Nice. Wait, where are you going? Oh, that's backwards. Where'd he go? Wait, he vanished. He vanished. Where'd he go? He was right here. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so now you should go to the center until held object is full. So that shouldn't be full, right? It only has one out of ten things. What? What? It doesn't say he's holding anything. If held object full. Oh, I guess we go... We don't do that. We do... If... This cart is full. That's what we do. And then if it's empty, we move back. So it's not empty because there's one log in there. So let's take the log out. I took the log out. Hello? Oh, I see. I see. So I need them to move back over there. And then stop when he's done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Why, why do I have a shovel? Oh, no, wait, that doesn't work. Needs to go there. There we go, that should work, right? All right, is this working? I don't know if this is working. Crude cart, log cart mover. All right, so now we have the bots deposit into this cart instead. So where are my forestry teams? Log collector. So instead, you're gonna move to this cart, add to it. Right? Is that gonna work? I don't even know where this bot is. Move to cart. Wait, why can't you move to this cart? Do you not know how to move to said cart? What if I, maybe I gotta do something special with this. Aha, find nearest cart, got it. So let's just shrink this. Let's just do the center th like two by two area that we have here, th three by three. There you go, until hands are empty. There we go. That works. And actually what we wanna do is log collector. You know what, that's fine. We'll have two log collectors. Log collector cart. 
So now these forestry teams need to switch over to that programming. Wait, what team is this? This is bottom right. All right. Log collector cart. So all I need to do is switch this over here. And then forestry team three is top right. Beautiful. Log collector. And top right. There we go. And then team four should be top left. Beautiful. So now we got all that. Now, who is using this pallet? No one. Okay, so now all we do is log depositor. So I can put this guy into probably log logistics logs along with the cart dude. Log cart mover, logistics logs. And now what we do, we have log depositor. Come here, go to this cart, throw it in there. Find nearest cart, move to it, take, move, add, okay. That works, go. And then as soon as this is empty, this guy should immediately move back. Last one? No, oh, one more. All right, now I should move back. Hello? All right, that doesn't work. Maybe we just do that. If cart's full, you do that. If cart's empty, you do that. Yeah, that's all we do. Why did I have them nested? What am I doing? All right. So that should knock that out. Let's see what this all is. Oh, the upgrade. The upgrade. You know what? Should we make that just so we know what it does? I think we do, right? Mechanical frame saw. I know there's a way to... You could just like plop down the upgrade? I don't know how he did that in the tutorial. Or like the little upgrade video. There's some way to do that. I didn't check. Blade gear crank. Okay, I'll do it myself. What happened to all our good gears? Oh, for the upgrades. Are good gears not being made? Oh, we got this slow bot making it. That's why. All right. Gear maker. When you are done... With this, I am going to have to upgrade you. Yeah, let me get all the pieces to this. I really want to get this bot upgraded. I didn't realize that was being slowed down by everything. What? Still not done? All right, so this needs a blade. Oh, we do need blade. Oh, no. Dang it, we still need blades being made then. I did not realize. Uh-oh. I forgot about little recipes like this that might need stuff like blades. Uh-oh. Right, because this metal blade doesn't use actual... Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So that is something we still need to have being made. Oh, he's still making them. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Blades are still being made. Oh, I think we needed it for like shears and stuff too. So maybe that's why we had blades going. All right, here. Take your new upgrades. Go. Go forth. And let's delete this real quick. All right, so we need a blade, a gear, and a crank. I got so sidetracked there. Blade, gear, we'll come back for the crank. And then we will upgrade this, see what it does. 
Blade gear? Crank? Oh, and we should probably get another research going, shouldn't we? Oh, dead bots, dead bots, dead bots. We actually need to get that going. You know what? Another charger bot. I said anytime I see a bunch of dead bots, we're just gonna add more charger bots. Okay, let's upgrade this again. Oh, that needs a metal plate. All right. Well, charger bot. Another charger bot. Charger bot. Charger bit. Charger bot. Charger boop it. Nope. Charger bot. Charger bot. Charger bot. All right. Charger bot. Max area. Let's come right over there. That works. And we will make this bot another charger bot on top of that. Charger bot. Change the area. Let's get it over here because this grass guy always dies. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so that charger bot should be going down there at some point. And all that will be good to go in a sec. I guess theoretically, if we had two bots, charger bots in the same area, as long as like two other bots didn't die at the same exact time and the two charger bots didn't go to charge those two bots at the same exact time and then die at the same exact time, one charger bot should always be able to charge the other charger bot unless that very specific circumstance happens. Maybe I should just double up on charger bots everywhere. Cause yeah, unless they're all constantly running around, there should always be one charger bot to charge the other charger bot. Cause charger bot A dies, charger bot B will recharge it. Charger bot B will then die, but charger bot A should be fully charged to go charge charger bot B. Yeah, I think this is probably good what I'm doing. Just add charger bots and charger bots. Eventually it just won't be a problem anymore. Hey, it's nice that my cereal and my cotton's back to normal. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh, we've been hurting for cotton thread, haven't we? For like dresses and stuff. Because we had no cotton there. Cotton lint. What's happening to all our cotton lint? Then he's taking it right back. All right. Then that thread is going somewhere to make dresses, right? Or is this making dresses? Yeah, this is making dresses right here. So never mind. We're good on dresses. Although, something here is not going right, I think. Possibly. Eh, we'll check that out at some other point. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, let's get rid of all this excess we built here. And what was I building up here? Mechanical frame saw. Bench oh my god, I was already building one? What was I doing? Good gear. Oh, we don't have a good gear. Okay, I need to fix this bot. He's doing one too many runs for the fixing pegs. So that can get fixed. Is he still there? I think he's still there. Uh, what is it? Gear, good gear maker. Take fixing pegs. Why are you not taking them? Oh, they're out of fixing pegs. Oh, probably just because I'm making so many gears. Of course. No, I need a gear. I need a gear. I need a gear. All right. We got to time this perfectly. Oh, I missed it. All right. Good gear maker. No, you stop. You need to just... This is just going to be until hands are full. Then until hands are empty. And get rid of that repeat. And that should be good. Because they can hold six at a time. Right. 
healed six. Yeah, six at a time, so that's fine. That'll work out. Alright, well, I guess we can go get a metal plate. And yeah, I know I can move that recipe, but we gotta come all the way back for good gear. So I'll manually just walk out there. How's our food going, actually? 37 berry jams, nice! Are these broken? These are all working, right? Oh, wait. I want to take metal. Oh, I come over here to take metal. Oh, we can't even take a metal plate because we're still making buckets. Oh, buckets are almost full. So pretty soon that won't be a problem. Okay, okay. Berry jam. Ooh, how's this plan doing? Ooh, we're almost there. We're almost there. So that means that work. that's working really well. Did everything get charged? Everything did get charged. Nice. And what other plans do we have? Did they even add more? Oh, I probably have to unlock them, right? Level 5 research power. Yeah, so once I start unlocking this stuff, I'll get new plans. And this is all the stuff I think that came with the... I want to say update 3, was it? The trains and all that? Oh my god, there's mansions. Oh, there's the train. Oh, this is just like a hand cart, I think. Oh, wow. Better livestock farming. Oh, that would give us better hay. Right, that would give, a, give us a hay baler. Shelter technology, medicine, dairy farming, sheep farming. I really want to see what this bench saw does, but we have no good gears. Speed upgrade maker. Oh. You want speed upgrade maker? We're gonna pause you. And bot drive maker, we're gonna pause you too. I'm taking this next gear. I'm sorry, boys. And then this bucket should be full soon. So then these metal plates should just start stacking up. You know, we could also speed up metal plates because if they can hold, if crude metal takes up two storage slots in their hands, that means this bot can hold three at a time. If I give him a power upgrade, he can have four at a time, which means he can hold two, enough metal for two metal plates at a time. So that'll essentially make him produce at double the speed. Hey, look at that plan complete. We finally got another slab. Took forever. Another slab added to the tower. And we are done with our plans for the moment. Alright, you know what? Let's actually upgrade that bot. Let's get that bot, bot of power upgrade. Actually, let's clear out this. Power upgrade for this bot. And then how much does the plate take in terms of storage or strength? Metal plate. Only two. Okay. So metal workers to metal plate. Oh yeah, it does only take two. Nice. We can make, we can double this. Easily now. All right, come here. Come here. Take the power upgrade. All right, now you can do until hands are full. Until hands are empty. And then twice. Find, pick up. Then until hands are empty. There we go. So now he should take four metal at a time. And make two metal plates. There you go. Four. That should be plate number one. Plate number two. Then you should pick them both up. Ideally. 
Beautiful. Nice. That's like instant, instant doubling of metal plates. Not quite instant doubling because of the time it takes to still walk around, but definitely, definitely helps. It's probably at least a 50% increase. If definitely not two times increase, but at least 50% probably. Given that he's not doing this whole trip twice. Nice. So then as soon as this bucket is done, I think this will count as being full once this bucket's added. Yeah, so he doesn't he should no longer need. What? Oh, I don't have that in there. So he'll want to make two more buckets on top of that. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to make my own metal plate then. Just so I can see what this bench saw does. You know what? I gotta wait for that guy to process his. Otherwise, I'm gonna jam him up. Alright, then I can make my own. Oh, so that's what the power does. It lets what operations finish, but it doesn't let you start a new operation. Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering what it did, but I just saw what it does. All right. Because I wondered, like, if power ran out mid-cycle, does that make everything run slower? It didn't seem like it, but it just prevents new recipes from being started. Got it. Makes sense, makes sense. All right. And do we have some good gears? We do, finally. Our fixing pegs. Fixing pegs still are hurting. Alright, bench saw. Let's see what this bench saw does. Oh, you need walls? Are you kidding me? Uh, where can I put you? Where can I put you? I just want to look at what you do. I don't want to actually Do anything with oh you need power do you now? Oh, it does have power on it, it has little power lights Okay, we're moving into like the industrial age. Oh, come on. I just wanted to see what you do All right. All right. That's gonna be too much of a hassle to handle right now. So I think we'll probably hit that up on the next episode. And then we will also start the next tier of research. Yeah, we definitely need to start because we're full up on love right here in the storage. So we will start the next tier of research. Probably, I guess we'll just pick something random. I'm not sure what we're going for at this point. And we'll see what that bench saw does for us because it requires power. So that might give us a big boost in wood production. We'll have to see. But I will see you guys on the next episode. So until then, take it easy, everyone. Thank you.